Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Living Room Sports here on KDKA. Bob Pompiani and Rich Walsh, and tonight we're joined by two popular, shall I say, superstar Penguins, ex-Penguins, but boy, they had an impact on the franchise. Max Talbot, Colby Armstrong, and Max, I'm going to start with you. Where are you at right now, and how are you riding this thing out? Uh, I'm just south shore of Montreal, about uh, 25 minutes away. Uh, we're we're kind of secluded here, and if I can say we're used uh, we're used to quarantine here, the, the Talbot family, because we were living in Russia for the last three seasons. So <laughs> for us, it's like almost no different. We're we're very we're together. Uh, we're we were in a small little apartment in Russia. Now we're in in our house. We got 30 acres here, so we don't need to get out unless my wife goes to the grocery store about once a week. Yeah, it's been it's been definitely crazy and four kids at home. I'm telling you, homeschooling and trying to take care of everything that, you know, most families are, are dealing with, with no school and no sports or activities for your kids um, has been fairly challenging. For both of you guys, I mean, is this tougher? Uh, raising kids in this kind of environment, kids probably running in circles around you. Is this tougher than actually being a hockey player? I'm learning a lot uh, about my kids, and it's not I always knew them and I'm very close to them, but it's kind of learning a way to teach them and how they're learning different stuff while they're in school. For me, it's a, it, it's a huge joy right now working with my kids to homeschool them. Well, I call bull, you know what, on Max teaching his kids how to read. I, when I played with him, I don't know if he knew how to read, but that's that's news to me. Good job, Max. Way to go, buddy. But um, yeah, and it's 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 been fun, and like the quality time, like Max says, has been great. But it's definitely been you know challenging, and I think you have a little bit of appreciation for some of what the teachers go through, at least on my end, anyway. Both of you guys outkicked your coverage when you got married. I know that for a fact. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, Max, I, mean. I want to I ask you about your wife now. You, you got, you're a champion skater, and you married a champion skater. How did this all happen? Uh, well, I, I found the one. I found the one. I uh, found Cynthia, and uh, next day she moved in, and the rest is history. We made three kids in five years, and now it's going to be eight years now that eight years we're together, six years married. But the wife's amazing. I mean, she, uh, she's definitely a better teacher than, than me on the ice for – for skating purpose and uh you know it's uh yeah we'll see if my kids uh, like hockey i think my my daughter my second one is uh is rougher than my six years old so uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes but it's, it's certainly fun to watch them grow it uh it goes by fast i tell you i want to ask you guys too going back now to hockey you, you were uh, both called up essentially on the same time i know max you had started the season went down but it, you both back in that one season came up at the same exact time um is, is that right? Do you remember all of that and what it was like to both be on the trip from Wilkesbury to Pittsburgh? Go ahead, Colby. You know, I, I'd, I'd, I'd like to tell it because it was my very first time ever being called up. And Max, as you said, had started the season in Pittsburgh that year and then was sent back down to us for a little bit of time to be called up and going with Max uh, at the exact same time for, well, for me, uh, was huge for me just because I'm like kind of an anxious guy and to have a buddy go with you that's, that was there already. It was a little stressful, a little bit of anxiety as it always is in your first game, but I had a, I had a buddy that got called up on the same day, a real good friend of mine, so it, it made it a lot easier. So I'm thankful that that happened to, to me on that day. All right, guys, it's interesting because both you guys first taste of the NHL. Who do you have as your head coach? It is the disciplinarian Michael Terrian, uh, and I'm just curious. This is the man who had one of the biggest rants in Penguin history when he called you guys soft. Do you remember that? And before you answer, let's take a look for those who forget. <laughs> it's a pathetic performance. Half of the team doesn't care. They turn the puck over. You know, they have no vision. They soft like I never see a bunch of defensemen soft like this. There's no one guy was close to do something. Maybe Maxim Talbot at the end with one second left. It's about five foot eight. The clip is legendary, but it's honestly it's like that at the time we were kind of used to it because he'd had a few epic, real epic ones in, uh, in Wilkesbury, to be honest with you, that were really good. <laughs> Of course, like Max, probably the one guy that I, I don't really remember what happened, but probably the one guy that kind of went and gave him a couple shots or something. I don't know what happened, but 
I love how he just kind of had to mention you in that clip too, which is hilarious. <laughs> you know, the next day you get back in the room and you got the guys chirping you because he pointed you out that you, you were not that bad. I'm like, I didn't choose this, you know? Like, it, yeah. it's not my fault that he, he said my name in there. Hey, way to go, Max. Way to do something. Just yeah. not, you're not really that great at it. But thanks. <laughs> yeah. He's five foot eight. <laughs> so yeah. like that. Both of you guys had very high profile roommates at one point. Max, you were with Gino, Evgeny Malkin, and Colby, you had Sidney Crosby. Max, I'll start with you. What was that like, the, the communication right off the bat? Or what kind of stories can you tell us? Well, fi figure out why this team won championships. Uh, they still won. You know, it's, it's because me and Colby showed these guys everything. <laughs> <laughs> they just had great influence. Uh, but yeah, G Gino was just great. I'm sure it was a different situation between Colby and, and Sid and Gino and I, because I mean, Gino, I, I could, I couldn't speak with him, you know, first of all, my <laughs> English sucks. And, uh, secondly is his English sucks too. <laughs> so we, we found ways and it was funny because, you know, I would, at the end, it, it was the second or third year he was here in, in Pittsburgh and he's like, Max, order me a uh, room service. I'm like, you know, I'm like, no, but what do you want? He's like, oh, I want a steak, medium rare. I'm like, you, you speak English, just take the yeah. <laughs> Kobe will say everything about Sid right now. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say with Gino, and I, well, I sat beside him in the dressing room, so he couldn't win either way, rooming with you and then sitting next to me. But uh, I remember teaching him, pointing at myself and going, legend, legend. <laughs> and he's like looking at me like, all right, guys, thanks very much. We're going to have fun tonight, I can tell. And when we come back, we're going to get the backstory behind the so-called superstar treatment that Max Talba got when he was a Penguin. That's all coming up right here on Living Room Sports, KDKA-TV.